Hey guys, what's going on? Russ Lyman here. I'm doing another project for my living room here. Uh, as you can see behind me, um, I have two empty spots kind of next to the window there. And I thought it'd be great to build some custom bookshelves. Uh, this way I can hold all my uh, DVDs and games and everything. If I went out and bought a bookshelf, they make them uh, really deep. And then, um, I mean, you can stack two rows of NES games, but then it's going to come out really far. So I just want to make it just big enough for a DVD or like a boxed NES game. Um, so this way, it won't take up that much space. So should be cool. All right, guys, how's it going? I ended up getting a bunch of lumber here. And I picked up uh, this lumber here. Let's see what size it is here. We got one by six by eight. So it's eight feet tall and six feet uh, wide here. Now I'm not gonna use the whole eight feet because I think that'd be a little bit too tall. I'm probably gonna go about seven feet or so. Um, another issue I do run into with our bookcases here is the floors are slanted on an angle towards this way. So I wanna be able to lean the bookcase back up against the wall. So I did pick up these adjustable legs here at Lowe's. They're about $2.50 or so. And I'm going to use two of them, uh, two on each side, and I'm going to put them on the front half of the bookcase. So this way I can uh, tilt it back. But should be pretty good.
Hey guys, uh, how's it going? So, as you can see, I finished the project. I got the bookcases behind me here, and they came out great. Nice and tall. Um, I stained them a dark wood. I used, uh, I think it was a dark walnut. Um, and I used two coats of that. Put it on there with a foam brush, and then I added a full coat of polyurethane, one on each bookcase, and I let it dry for two days now. Um, so everything's nice and dry, and I could just start loading it up with my games. Um, like I said, again, I added some uh, adjustable legs on the front of these bookcases and I raised them up so it can arc the bookcases against the back wall because I have a little bit of a slant on my floor here. But it looks nice and sturdy, so I'm going to load them up and it uh, should look cool. Hey guys, hope you enjoy watching me make these awesome bookcases. It was a really fun project and it took me about maybe three or four days just because of the stain and everything. It took a little while to dry, but you could definitely do it over the weekend. It wasn't too hard and the tools weren't uh, that hard to come by. You don't have to use pocket screws. Um, you can just use regular nails and stuff like that. It just makes the project a little bit harder. So I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY video and I'll catch you guys next video.